Nebraska high school track and field programs don't offer it, neither does Iowa. In fact, most states don't because of safety concerns, which makes it even all the more meaningful that a Nebraska native is headed to Rio in a sport she only recently picked up. With two days before opening ceremonies, Brian Mastery shares her story. Every experience that I had growing up in Nebraska, I think has led up to this and um, has been part of my journey. And so just to really, you know, bring all of that with me into Rio, I think kind of keeps me grounded and, you know, I'm still a Nebraska girl at heart. The line between good and great is sometimes hard to distinguish. Maggie Malone has achieved something few do. She's an Olympian. Growing up in Nebraska, definitely um, a blessing. Small town, 2,000 people, one stoplight. Maggie Malone never thought it would be the javelin that would set her apart. After all, Nebraska high schools don't offer the event during track and field season. But athlete is in her DNA. Her father, Danny Malone, was part of Nebraska's 1970 National Championship football team. Her mother, Nancy Kindig, was a track All-American at Nebraska in 1982. My parents did it right. Like we weren't ever forced into sports, but obviously like they put us into it and then we've just had a love for it. I never threw javelin until I was in college. Like I just kind of did it, you know, just like randomly, I guess. Um, but I did long jump, triple jump, and then just played basketball, volleyball, softball, and all of those things I think have helped me to get to where I'm at right now. Malone graduated from Fillmore Central in Geneva and followed her parents' path by going to the University of Nebraska. After they moved to Texas, though, she switched schools to Texas A&M, and soon she'll be leaving for Rio. It's here in College Station, Texas, one morning where we followed her training. I want to take every moment in because these are fleeting, so I, I, I'm blessed. For someone who came into Javelin late in life, Maggie Malone developed a short learning curve. She set a collegiate record this summer, throwing more than 62 meters or 204 feet, and then posted the best throw at the Olympic trials to qualify for Rio. This season's been crazy, and every goal that I've set for myself, and it's like been surpassed. Like God has just like taken the wheel on this. And so I don't know what to expect at this point. It's clear Maggie Malone relishes her cheering section from the state of Nebraska. I'm Brian Master reporting WWT 6 News. She is amazing. Maggie Malone will not be leaving until next week. Track and field events take place during the latter part of the Olympics.